Hey guys, what's up? Bring me the boa here, and that reminds me of something a little different. My shiny forehead. <laughs> um, but um, so there's gonna be, I'm, today is my first time filming in a while, so you can probably tell by the uh, difference in hair. Um, I don't think I've actively filmed like in my room. Um, for a video uh, for at least two to three weeks now. Um, in this video, what is today? Today's the 9th, so. As of May 9th, I am actively filming again. Um, I took a little bit of a break just because of some stuff that happened. There's a lot of stuff that happened in a short time. Um, only thing that I'm really going to mention because it actually affects the channel is, um, well, two weeks ago, it's already two weeks ago, um, Azura passed, so um, this video is sort of a, uh, a final remembrance for her in uh, that regard. Um, she was a delightful snake. I would not have traded the experiences for with her for another snake. Um, and I am saddened because she was she was just a fun snake. She had her quirks and yeah that one time she went after Todoroki during tub time but um, I think it was actually because he had just gotten done eating and he's kinda stupid so he might have still smelled like mouse even though I thought that me giving him his own bath first and then putting him in with them would have fixed that or resolved that potential issue. I'm, fairly confident that that was the issue. Um, every time. I can never have those weird hiccup burp things um, when I'm not filming. But I'm, I'm back in a good uh, mindset. Um, but Azura is going to be deeply missed, and I cannot thank Hardcore Hognose enough for the wonderful experience. But um, as another huge shout out to them, I, Jeff Goldblatt, you are an amazing person. You have basically listened to all of my concerns and have actively tried to help me figure out um, why she wasn't keeping on weight. And um, this is sort of kind of a shout out to him because he's just an amazing person, and I highly, highly recommend him if you are wanting a hog nose. He's a very wonderful human being. He has stellar animals and um, well to kind of add to that um, he offered me an, another snake <laughs> and um, I'm more than happy to pay shipping and uh, but he's offering to just give me one of this give me a snake um, when he has some eggs hatch out from this season um, to me personally, I'm I'm a little excited. That's been on the back burner of my head, or my my mind for a little bit, just because I haven't really been actively thinking about that. Um, but when I do, I do have a little bit of excitement because um, he has some interesting stuff cooking up this season. So I'm curious as to um, what we'll be sending our way. Um, and I say ours because I'm going to be showing you guys as well, but. Um, as for what happened with Azura, I do not blame Jeff at all, um, or Hardcore Hognose for that matter, even though they're, he is a part of Hardcore Hognose, but, um, I personally think that, um, what happened was not due to sickness, um, I wholeheartedly believe that she may have had digestive problems, um, and the only reason I say it's not a parasite or anything like that is she'd been around all of my snakes several, several times. So I know for a fact, sorry for the dogs barking, I know it's going to pick that up, um, but I know for a fact that if she had something, all of my snakes would have it. So, um, so as for that uh, comparison video, I promised comparing... Um, Azura and Argenta, which kind of confusing, both my Xanthic females, both have A names. Um, unintentional, I promise. 
But, oh, by the way, name reveal. If, um, because I can't remember if there, no, there, there would have been a video by now, I think. I, I filmed so many videos and I took too long of a break that I really haven't reviewed what's been uploaded and what hasn't, which is bad. <laughs> but, um, I won't be able to do that uh, comparison video for obvious reasons. Um, I do still have Azura's body, um, as well as Momo's, uh, because I still do want to have a necropsy done. I said that weird. Necropsy. That's, that's the correct way to enunciate it. I'm a necropsy, which, for those of you who don't know what a necropsy is, it is basically the same thing as an autopsy. Um, except the only difference is it's going to be figuring out, um, what caused Azura to expire. Um, because I, I, I do want to know. Um, if there was anything we could have done, um, I was doing a very good job diligently looking into possible conditions she could have, um, but it's, it's already been probably almost four to five weeks since I started that research and I never finished. Um, for a while I was wondering if maybe there's something wrong. I don't know if hog noses have a pituitary gland, but I know that in humans, pituitary gland problems can cause growth issues, and um, I figured that if hog noses have pituitary, maybe that was part of it because it it in can increase or decrease growth. Um, what well, she was getting long, she just wasn't maintaining weight. So I wondered if she, there was a, a mix between that and an abnormal metabolism, perhaps, um, maybe even thyroid issues for that matter. Um, maybe kidney or liver problems as well. Um, they're, 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 those are my, my main four uh, hypotheses for what could have happened with her. Um, but nonetheless, I know it was out of my control. I know it was out of Jeff's control. Um, because she was a fantastic eater. She, she'd feed very regularly. Um, she would accept a wider range of meats, which sounds really funny, uh, just because it's like, oh, snakes eat rodents, and it's like, no, on the contrary, <laughs> I have fed my hog noses an array of different meats just to add variety, but, um, it just stings a little, um, but, so, this isn't going to be the debut of my, my hair, I don't think. Uh, because um, I also did some nighttime recording with some friends, and so I'm, I might up. Anyway, I might upload that first. It just kind of depends. I'm also, um, because of um, some advice from my friends, some of my friends, I'm going to actually start putting things here. So if you guys got any recommendations of what I should put, um anything you guys would like me to draw. I'm not that good of an artist, but I will try. Please don't don't request anything weird because <laughs> I, I I probably will draw whatever it is if it's reasonable and put it here. <laughs> but um, I don't know, I'm just trying to add some some sort of flavor to this this bland tan wall. Also a little bit of an interesting tangent that will lead into the next video I record. But, um, yeah, Azura was a fun snake, and even though she's no longer around, um, she still furthered my love and enjoyment for Xanthic snakes, um, so much so that I currently am doing something with wild snakes, but, um, I'm not going to divulge too much of that yet until I actually uh, get some footage. So stay tuned if I ever actually manage to. Um, but yeah, it's been bringing the boa. It's a little bit of a shorter video, but thank you guys so much for watching. And I know, kind of like a melancholy video, I've, I've had a couple of those. <laughs> but uh, that's just what happens when you keep pets. Um, Sometimes they just randomly. And
and uh, you just you gotta roll with the punches and kind of look at the bright side of things. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.